Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome back to Man vs. Film. This is going to be a list of 10 movies that you can watch right now on the US version of Amazon Prime Video. So let's get started with number 10 and a Quentin Tarantino movie, Jackie Brown. A middle-aged woman finds herself in the middle of a huge conflict that will either make her extremely rich or very dead. It's not as flamboyant as Reservoir Dogs or Pulp Fiction, but it's a little bit more to it. This is a melding of two geniuses in my book. You have the caricature, the, the slow delivery, the intercut storytelling of Quentin Tarantino mixed with the pulp, super smart dialogue of Elmore Leonard, one of my favourite writers. And together they create a movie that generally gets better on each and every watch. It's not about the plot. It's about the characters and how they populate this world. Number nine is small soldiers. When missile technology is used to enhance action figures, they take their battle programming a little bit too literally. Directed by Joe Dante, this movie certains on a small town that is overrun by these small creatures and it's up to one young teenage boy to help stop it. Sounds a bit familiar. A little bit like Gremlins, but not as good, though it's still a fun movie with some great voice performances from Tony Lee Jones and Frank Langella. Number eight on my list is Elvis and Nixon. It's the untold true story, apparently, of a meeting between President Nixon and Elvis Presley, which resulted in the most requested photograph from the National Archives. Who knows if this is a true story or not? They advertise it as such, and you know what? I'm going to take it at face value, even though it seems a little bit too wacky. Kevin Spacey is Richard Nixon in this movie, and he does a very good performance, but this movie is all about Michael Shannon, who steals the show as Elvis and his unique manner of getting by through life and the sort of chaos he causes other people. as a terrific character piece and just a fun movie, just under 90 minutes. Next up is number seven, A Boy and His Dog. A young man and his dog travel the American wasteland in the search for food, shelter and whatever else they require. This is a really weird movie because it's got a young Don Johnson and his dog travelling the wasteland but they have this telepathic connection so they're always talking to each other and it really creates a character onto the dog, one that you actually really buy into. This movie takes a really strange turn midway through that I did not see coming. I don't even want to describe it to you because it's just weird. This is one of those wacky 70 movies that just don't get made anymore. But it's kind of curious. It's a curious oddity almost. Number six is Project Almanac. A group of teens discover the plans for a time travel device and they construct one, but things don't go as smoothly as they hope. I love time travel movies, even ones like this where they construct a time travel device out of an Xbox and a car battery. But then, you know, it's a suspension of disbelief and the movie does have other things that I kind of like. It layers up the story, which at first seems kind of formulaic and teen-driven, but it's not that on multiple watches, and it becomes quite engrossing. Number five is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. After Shredder joins forces with Baxter Stockman and his henchmen Bebop and Rock Steady, the turtles must confront them and a new enemy in the form of Krang. I wasn't a fan of the first Turtles movie, but the second one gave me everything that I wanted. It reminded me so much of the TV show and was just a hell of a lot of fun. Everything Krang is amazing. Bebop and Rocksteady look terrific. The movie's pulpy, fun, throwaway action. Silly, but it's genuinely entertaining. Number four is Almost Famous. A high school student is given the opportunity to write a story for Rolling Stone magazine and all he has to do is follow this up and coming rock band on their current tour. This is full of terrific performances from everybody across the board. It's one of these stories that seems as if it's true life. You can buy into this guy just having the summer of his life doing the job that he dreams of being able to do, meeting wacky, wonderful and colourful characters along the way and living the life of a rock band, but only for a short period of time. It is a terrific movie that just draws you in every single time you watch it. Number three is What We Do In The Shadows. A documentary crew follow the lives of a few vampires over a period of time. The, the vampires flat share in this one and it turns out they have similar problems to humans in that respect. Each of the vampires seems lovingly created from an archetype, whether it be Nosferatu or Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's taking these iconic vampire images and transporting them into these characters within a house that they flat share type of. And it captures all the best parts of a mockumentary. It captures these people at their most earnest, at their most bloody, being the most destructive nature for each other. And just the camaraderie that they have, even though they kind of dislike each other, they kind of like each other and rather around each other when need to. I think it's a terrifically funny movie. It's got immensely rewatchable and just fun. 
Number two is Manchester by the sea. A depressed uncle is asked to take care of his nephew after his father dies. Casey Affleck plays Lee Chandler in this movie with a forlong sense of despair. He knows exactly that he's not in the right mindset for anything. He doesn't want to look after this boy, but it's the only chance he's got. And you think this movie's going to tick off the typical cliched Hollywood storylines, and it doesn't quite go there, which is refreshing. And it's a rather, I'm going to say, enjoyable movie, even though it's heartbreaking in certain moments. And number one for June 2017 is Moonlight. A chronicle of childhood, adolescence and burgeoning adulthood on this one character as he grows up in a really tough neighbourhood trying to be the person that he wants to be. The eventual winner of the Best Picture Oscar is a terrific movie and I think it's one that everybody should see because it's very much rewarding. You have this three periods in this one person's life as I said as a child, as a teen and as a young man as he struggles to come to terms with who he wants to be and who he is perceived to be to survive in life. I think it's a great tale of trying to overcome all these obstacles to just be the person that you want to be and you'll probably be able to grasp onto that storyline. I think it's perfectly acted, well shot and just a terrific movie and definitely worthy of that best Oscar statue. So that's what I've picked for this month. To come back next month and see what other 10 movies I've picked. So hit subscribe to make sure you get that video first and I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.